In this video, we'll be taking a look at some of the options and functions of the 3D Coat Messiah AppLink plugin. First, I want to thank Greg Malik for all his hard work on developing the plugin. He's done a really great job on it. All right, so when we open up Messiah, you'll notice that we are, of course, in the File tab, uh, and we have an armature here. So if we click on this 3D Coat armature, we'll have various options per pixel painting, my micro vertex painting, p tax, and so on. Um, now if we click on these, it will, um, well, depending on your setup, may or may not open up 3D Coat. So before we actually do anything like this, let's, uh, let's go to the Customize tab and take a look at these options. In the drop down list, let's go to 3DC App Link, and you'll see we have quite a few options. Let's expand the sidebar a bit with uh, F3. We have um, tick boxes for these functions right here as well. You can see if we tick this so box over here, it changes this over here and vice versa. Same with the other two buttons. We also have the armature display options, which we can toggle them on or off, like this. You can see they're being turned on and off, right? And of course, we also have directory options. We can specify if you have multiple installations of 3D Code, which version you'd like to use. So I've already gone ahead and done that, but let's click the button here that will take us there. And let's navigate to where we have 3D code installed. And I'm using 64-bit. And I'm using 3.5.5B as in Bravo. And I like to use the DirectX version. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, and we also have a box here that says start unstarted 3DC using selected 3DC.exe. If we tick this, and 3D code is not turned on, this will open it up for you, and, uh, well, it'll do whatever function you've ticked over here. So I don't need to do that. I already have a version of 3D code open, so I'll skip that part. I can also specify an image directory for the exported texture maps that come from 3D code. Let's go ahead and specify that now. All right, let's, uh, where are you? Hmm. Ah, yes. Here we go. Okay. There we are, and images, okay? And if you want to use this folder, you must tick Use Image Directory. If you don't, then the images will be stored into the 3D Code installation folder, or whatever folder you have saved your object into. And when I say object, I mean mesh. Okay, so now that we've gone over these options, let's talk a little bit about the functions of the armature. So we have per pixel painting. This will send the object that is currently selected in the outline panel over to 3D Coat. Likewise with micro, micro vertex and p -tex. These will all do painting, of course, as it's described here in the name. We can also send the object over for UV mapping and bring it back with a completely new UV map. A reference mesh in 3D Coat is a static mesh which you cannot edit, but you can retopologize basically playing, placing a new mesh over on top of the reference mesh. Uh, we can also retopologize the mesh and bring it back as the new retopologized mesh. We can also send it as a me as a uh, voxel object, which is really handy if you want to do some voxel sculpting with it. You can also create a pin alpha, and we'll, we'll actually demonstrate some of these here, so I'm going to just kind of breeze over. We can also do a primitive uh, that will create a voxel primitive. It's almost identical as dropping it as a voxel object, uh, but uh, it can be used for other things. So uh, drop mesh for 3D coat for auto -read topo is uh, kind of self-explanatory. It will take you to the auto -read topology tool. Now these three options here, we can skip the import and export dialog inside of 3D coat, and I'll demonstrate that in a moment. We can also skip reloading the mesh in Messiah. Uh, essentially, this doesn't function with this current version of Messiah, so this really won't matter, and uh, you actually must do a manual reloading of the mesh anyway, so you'll see as we go along here. Let's grab the default creature from 3D Code, drop it into Messiah, and I've already had a texture file. At it asks us if we want to load up an alternative. No, I'll take no for all those. And you'll see that the mesh is actually quite large. If we zoom out, it is gigantic. So let's go to the Setup tab. 
And with the creature selected, let's change the scale to 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Okay, zoom it back in. Alrighty, and there we are. Let's focus on the creature here so we can rotate the viewport without losing focus on it. Alright, so uh, let's change the draw mode of the creature over here in the outline panel from smooth to texture and of course we have no texture set um, and the MTL file for the object is actually calling some images that aren't there so it looks a little funky. Uh, not to worry though, let's go ahead and select one of these options. Now I don't want to skip the important export dialog but I'll demonstrate that in a moment. So let's go with micro vertex painting and I've already got 3D code open, so let's make sure we have the start unstarted unchecked. And it is, so we're good to go there. Okay. Now let's click on the mesh. Make sure you have the mesh selected, otherwise you'll get an error. So now let's click on the uh, micro vertex painting icon over here. And let's go to 3D coat. And you'll see we're, we're getting an import dialog here. I want to demonstrate the function of turning that off, so let's just hit cancel. And of course, it won't import anything. So let's go back to Messiah and let's check the skip dialog. Now let's take the micro vertex painting again and go over to 3D coat again. And you'll see that it will automatically start importing the mesh. The default settings for 3D coat are a 2K map with a subdivision level of 3. So keep that in mind. It will also remember your previous settings if you use something else other than that. So now that we've done this, let's go ahead and actually uh, let's open a new scene. I don't want to actually use that. So let's go back to Messiah. Okay, and let's turn that import dialog back on because I actually want that. Now let's take micro vertex painting again. Go back to 3D coat. Alright, so now we have our settings here, and even though I wanted to keep uh, most of the default settings, I'm going to change my map to 1K. I'm going to keep all the rest of the settings here. Uh, let's double check the subdivision level. It's actually set to 4. That's what I used previously. Uh, and of course, we want to keep the UV map, and I'm going to stick with the 5 million polygons for my sculpting details. And let it run through the import. And we should be just about done here. There we are. Okay, so now we have our creature inside of 3D Coat. And now we can paint and other such things, but we'll do that in the next video.